Hey y'all, I haven't been here since October. Just coming here to check some bees. Homeowner said they saw bees flying, but that could be robbers or they could be alive. Imagine that. So now I'm just walking over to check real quick, see if I even need to bother lighting my smoker or putting my suit on. Let's see how they're doing. Definitely a lot of bees flying. Let's see if they're alive or dead. Hmm. Huh. That's a tough call. They got stuff in the front. But they're congregated there. And also doesn't look sticky. So if I can see pollen going in, I know they're good. Which I haven't seen yet. Oh, oh, man. Oh. <laughs> well, I think the fact that they're actively coming out and stinging me <laughs> uh, tells me what I need to know, which means they're alive and go put your suit on and definitely like to smoke her up. But I'll be right back. On the way back to my van, I had a little change of plans. They look fantastic right now. Uh, I just tried to tip the hive up to see how much it weighed, and it's extremely heavy. So that just means they're loaded. They're going to make it just fine uh, till this winter's over. I'm not going to gain anything by ripping through this hive. I'm going to go to another location where I know I have one that fell over and I need to fix stuff that's inside. This one's doing fine. I'm just going to end up wasting time, dripping honey everywhere, and basically getting no benefit whatsoever except for a stupid YouTube video. So I'm skipping this one. We'll come back to this some other time, probably when I split it or something i'm at my second location and again i don't know what survived here i haven't been here since at least september october but i did have a swarm trap here oh yep wow i never even insulated under the lid like i normally do no wrap no feed nothing like that let me see if I can get in closer. I got all these thorn bushes in front of me. Got to cut those down again. Oh yeah, they're taking in pollen and everything. Definitely not going to get into them right now. They're doing fine, just like the other ones. Let's. I have one other colony here. Let's go check that one. Oh, hey, look at that. That was the original beetle bomb colony, which I split over to here. And they have a lot of traffic going in. We'll get up closer in a minute, but this colony here failed to requeen and dwindled. And of course, didn't live much longer after that. But the split off of them, which is this one. Oh, they're coming in heavy. Tons of pollen on them. I forgot to put a mouse guard on. Wow. Well, you know, it's a, a deep five frame nuke with two mediums in the shade. Never treated, never fed. I got two out of two living over here. That's great. I forgot to say this one here. Let me see. Let me see what it weighs. Got any weight to it? Oh, yeah. Holy hell, yeah. That thing's definitely got a ton of weight not worried about it I'll come back today it's just so beautiful out that I'm just running around seeing who's alive I'm not I'm not going full inspection on any of these except for the one I gotta go over and check out that fell over because I'm sure the frames are all smashed to one side so I'll head over there now I'm still not at the place I was talking about yet but I thought I'd show some bad news too, or what most people would call bad news. Here I have three colonies at this location. They all died. This big one's heavy as hell. Those two are, are so light I could throw them half across this cornfield. So, who knows? Um, no biggie. Just showing you that some do die. I'm not just showing like that they're all alive. <laughs> there is some bees going in and out of them, but I'm pretty sure they're robbers. All right, now, God damn it, let's get to the other spot. All right, I'm finally here. 
I only have two here. As you can see, this big one, well, big one, this taller one on the left fell down a few weeks ago. Um, the one on the right is from a cutout from last year out of that barn where there was two colonies. Me and Jason from Hickory Hives did that one. Actually, we did that one right there. The other one I did mostly, I think, by myself. I thought this one was dead for falling down so hard. We don't know how long it was there. Landowner said he thought both of them were dead because there was nothing flying on the warm day when he looked. But I can see pollen going in, so they're both alive. I'm just going to go into this one here and see how the boxes are off center and kind of crooked. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about if the frames are smashed against the side or if the queen got injured. Oh, and they're trying to come after me already, so I got to put my suit on. The bottom board on this one shifted all the way over. All these boxes are shifted. Not a big deal. I only have two two colonies here, but you can see they're pulling some kind of pollen out of there. Some junk they didn't like. All right, let me set my camera up, see what's going on in here. Well, it's filled right up to the top, I can tell you that. Filled right up. Oh, there's a hive beetle. It survived the winter right there. Got one there, squished. Um, I'm hoping maybe the bottom one's empty so I can bring it down one. I don't know. But the frames in this box aren't shifted. They're all perfectly centered. They're pro propolized in real well. I'm not pulling any of those. Real heavy, actually. The reason I wanted to do this is because my hive at home that fell over. All the frames were smashed over to the side and this one they are over to the side but not too far I'm gonna recenter them Let's see if I can show you what this frame looked like See what happens here. Hopefully you can see it. Oh man, one's got me real bad. Okay. Uh, from being against the wall there, you can see that they were trying to chew their way in there and how it got all gritty and grimy there. That was going to be a problem. Not very long from now. That was going to be a problem with um, hive beetles. So now that I can bring this away from the wall in here. It's a lot better. They can get in there and they can control it and keep it clean. Man. clean up the top here a little bit just so that I won't crush too many when I put it back together. Alright, we'll get this 
this box off and check the next two. Man, this one's heavy too. What the hell? All right, let me see where the camera's focused. All right. Still pretty full of bees. This frame again is the same story as that one where it's pushed up against the side, so I'm gonna just fix that without really pulling it out. I mean, maybe I'll pull it. Yeah, we'll pull it out, see how bad it looks. See, I was starting to get yucky. They were attaching it to the side, and I don't know. I don't think it was going to be as much of a problem as the other one. Let me clean this up in here. Okay, I dropped it right in there. All right, that's a quick fix on that box. Oh, oh, here they come. I need a little more smoke. Hmm. I feel like the bottom one's going to have the least problem because it's down low. It fell the least. mistaken that frame there is full ah oh get me ah shit put some smoke on here Man. I think my smoker went out imagine that See, I'm, oh shit! I might have really. All right, I'm gonna put this together as fast as possible. And get the hell out of here. That frame was messed up, and they're coming out pissed now. Oh man! <laughs> oh, my ankles are throbbing. They got me in my ankle. Oh. Shit, that's gonna really send him. <laughs> oh man, damn. Come on, get some smoke. I'm almost done. Almost done. There. That's back. Alright. 
these aren't mean bees. They're just a little uh, like this in the springtime. Early spring is normal. I'm sure everybody already knows that. Put the final box on here. Oh man. way for springtime. Okay, that'll do it for me here today. Really don't want to take any more stings today. Got some equipment to clean up and get ready. Thanks for watching.